A letter from my sister. November 16th, 2016. And around and around and around it all goes. An eye for an eye, leaving everyone blind. The other will burn down your lands, destroy your governments, leave behind civil wars and garrison towns, and the shiniest weapons for the taking. Create theaters of new and broken armies, select your leaders, and nurture their delusions. You see, the other will explain to you nonchalantly, calmly, coolly, obviously, violence is natural to you. It is your very fiber and body. We have known it all along. And then the other, who has not stopped warring in half a century. The other, who forgets even while obliterating, feasts on the forgetting. The other will repeat the same lectures their forefathers did in the old days, in the press and in the university, about your backwardness, your failures, your lack of humanity, your lack of rationality, lack of atheism, your lack of humor, your lustful fantasies, your psychotic rituals, your inability to make love or to grow up, or simply have your educated classes in leadership internalize all this and say it instead. Write long essays in intellectual fashion of all the primitive cultural reasons for your despair. Pity and shame you if you are a woman, not because of your losses, your sorrow, not for being forced to wander, thirst for water. Oh no, but pity your womanhood, for it must be saved because of what you wear and do not wear. The other will deliver lectures to you about the value of education after bombing your schools. The other will write speeches about you to be healthy after destroying your hospitals. Again and again rustling up new enmities saying all the while that they are as ancient as the sun and moon. For your rulers have sent down machines made only of the dark magic of war, dealt to them by the other, and they applaud themselves. What progress, they say, as they slumber and drink and dance in their palaces. Once again, all is aflame. Did it ever end? And the fires begin to consume all that of what is left. Then, when you try to flee, racing away from the raining fire and into the sea, the other will leave you to drown there. Or if you make it ashore, capture you, write numbers on your forearms, and then laugh at you when you say, but this has happened before, with other bodies in history, in this same land, with an uncanny familiarity. When nothing, 
nothing minus nothing and all is left, you go to pray in a foreign country, in exile. But even here you are not safe, for your houses of worship are attacked. And so you recite lines of poetry in your head about homes you have left behind. Homes you will never return to. Homes for which it has been such a long time for which you have yearned that you yearn no more. And you think, what a long time it has been that you have yearned to return. Before long, your neighbors turn against you, wielding piercing words, hurling abuses. And the children who came with you to the new world become strangers to you mock you even as they are mocked in schools, in streets, in shadows. And all the while you hear the other voices saying, in another language you are forced to learn, isn't it at all terrible? There's nothing to be done, nothing at all. What good is democracy if we cannot just go on with our freedom to consume? As you watch the man at your local corner store giving you the eye while picking up the morning paper, you see the whole world reels in shock when that other awakens to the horror. For the horror can strike at any time. You know this all too well. And there you are, buying your bread and eggs, grieving, afraid, and you are forced to say you are sorry. I am sorry. You are beaten into saying it. You are forced to say it. You are the barbarian. It is you. Say it. Say it. Say you are the barbarian. Say. I am the barbarian. And so you recite lines of poetry in your head about homes you have left behind. Homes you will never return to. Homes for which it has been such a long time for which you have yearned that you yearn no more. And you think, what a long time it has been that you have yearned to return. <laughs>